Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of the Sports Gist. If you're just joining us, please don't forget to subscribe. We would definitely be bringing you a lot of wonderful gist in the world of sports. First on today, we have the Nice and Marcel match abandoned. While the French League One match between Nice and Marcel was ongoing on the 22nd of August, it was brought to a halt after a fan threw a water bottle into the pitch and it hit Marcel player Dimitri Paget. Paget picked it and launched it back into the crowd and this action was followed by fans storming into the pitch. It became a situation where the players and stewards of the games tried to restrain the fans from storming the pitch any further. After much delay, the nice players returned to the pitch to continue the game but the Marcel players refused, hence the abandonment of the game. The French sports minister has regarded this incident as an insult for sports and football. On the other hand, the mayor of Nice said in an official statement made, This violence is unacceptable. Sanctions must be taken by the French Football League once they have found out who was responsible. Some of the Marcel players were reportedly injured in the trouble. Marcel president Pablo Longoria has also come out to say that the players were attacked. He said in a statement he made, we decided for the safety of our players who were attacked during the pitch invasion not to resume the match because the safety of our players was not guaranteed. Authorities have ordered a four-match stand closure. The Alpes Maritimes Department said the popular South Stand on Nice's Allianz Rivera Stadium would be closed after the brawl between fans and players. A 28-year-old man was taken into custody for his part in Sunday's brawl. Moving on, we have Brandon Williams on loan move to Norwich City. Manchester United has given out Brandon Williams on loan to Norwich City. Brandon Williams has supposedly completed his medicals as part of his preparations to join Norwich City on a season-long loan. Williams is set to become Norwich's 10th arrival during the summer transfer window with Billy Gilmore a loan deal from Chelsea. Christos Dolis, Angus Gunn from Southampton, Ben Gibson from Burnley, Josh Sargent and Milot Rashika, both from Werder Bremen, having joined the club this season. Next, we have Shakiri moving to Lyon on a £9.6 million deal. Zerdan Shakiri has signed a three-year contract with the League One club Lyon, who have said that the deal is worth €6 million, Euros, with a possible addition of €5 million Euros in add-ons. Shakiri having joined Liverpool from Stoke in a £13 million deal in 2018, has started just five Premier League games under Georgian Klopp last season. He has not been actively involved in either of the club's league's games in this season. Shakiri becomes the second Liverpool player to make a move to a League One club this summer. Finally, we have the US Open offering $57.5 million in player compensation. The qualifying tournament will now offer nearly $6 million in prize money, a 66% increase from 2019 when qualifying was last held due to the coronavirus pandemic. In 2020, qualifying was called off amidst the pandemic. However, it goes ahead this year. Although no spectators will be permitted to enter the grounds, unlike for the main tournament, which will be at 100% capacity. The first round main draw price has increased by 23% to $75,000. The tournament director, Stacey Allister, said, We determined our round-by-round -round prize money allocations by engaging in an open dialogue with the players and the management of both tours. We applaud their collective leadership in directing the 2021 US Open prize money to benefit the maximum number of players. The 2021 US Open begins on the 30th of August and is set to conclude on Sunday, the 12th of September. The first round of the main draw is set to begin at 11 a.m. on 30th of August, following the second round on the 1st of September, while the third round begins on the 3rd of September. The quarterfinal round of the 2021 US Open is also set to begin on the 7th of September at 11 a.m., following the women's semifinals which will be taking place on the night of September at 7 p.m., which will be followed by the men's semifinals held at the same time on the 8th of September. The women's U.S. Open final will take place on Saturday, September 11th at 4 p.m., and the final match 
which is the Men's U.S. Open, will begin on Sunday, the 12th of September at 4 p.m. That's all I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.